Gentlemen. Oh, boy. We saw a movie on Friday. That movie had... I don't want to say it was an A-list cast. I I think two out of the five are A-list. The rest are like maybe C or D. But we saw Borderlands. And man, I went in there thinking it can't be as bad as everyone says it. Apparently, I was so wrong. You jinxed yourself. Yeah, I think I did. So <laughs> you jinxed yourself I big time, the, my friend. I guess yeah. the ultimate example of that Eli Roth just stayed, stick to what he knows, which is horror. And this, is his this was his first big blockbuster film. Was it his well, first? Well, his first big summer blockbuster Okay, film. all right. I was looking at his other works. Like, nothing stood out to me. I was like, what did Thanksgiving. he make? Thanksgiving. I like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, yeah. It's the only one that I remotely know. Yeah. And then everything else was just kind of B-list, in my opinion. But... Yeah, it's this movie was a complete dud. It just I I never watched the movie that made me look at my phone so much in my life. <laughs> it was I was bored and lost the entire time, and the whole thing just felt like one MacGuffin chase after the next. <laughs> so and, the funny part is, I'm sitting there and I'm eating my Sour Patch Kids. And I turn around, I see a light, and yeah, my bad. Johnny sixty four is just. I, I try to keep my brightness on low. I'm sorry. This movie must suck because he's like on his phone the whole time. I was like, wow, dude. It was. It, I, 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 no, like I said, no movie like bored me that much. Like I, I, I couldn't even I get myself to, to keep paying attention. I don't think it was boring. I just think it was lackluster. Like it. it it was, it was repetitive. It was so repetitive. Yeah. We go to one location. And you know, it was, it, it was, it almost, was like a video game. Like it was, you know what it was like? It was almost like Rebel Moon, the first one. Don't where say the that. Whole, no, Rebel Moon was the, bad. And so was, the, and so was this. You're going to tell me this wasn't as, as much of a joke as Rebel Moon? No. This, this is no, better, this the is better than the first Rebel Moon. No, but, but my point is, is that the structure was kind of the same. That, like, it was... Go to one location, pick up an ally, fight some people, like go to the next game. location. Yeah. And, but Rebel Moon was kind of the same way. And I was like, oh, here we go again. It's, it's so repetitive. And all the fight scenes were just padding. Like, it was just a bunch. Like, I felt like I was watching, like, a bunch of, like, Power Rangers action sequences. You know? like. <laughs> but, but what about the thing that we were talking about after the movie finished with the, um, that Bad Boys uh, 4 did it better? Oh, the first person. Yeah, there was like that. that, that the like first a, person shooter. Yeah. Well, not even like not even that. Like uh, Doom did it better 20, 20 years ago. Yeah, the know, movie Doom, four did it with the first person Warlands. shooting. Uh, yeah, I, I get it's a first person shooter game. I guess that's the thing too. Like I don't think either like any of us like played the Borderlands video game. No, we, we knew of it. That. I knew I know of it. I've seen trailers of it. I know like what it's about. And then like during the movie, I was like looking up like what the characters were like versus what they were in the uh, in the movie itself, and they changed a lot with that too. But I, that's like tip of the iceberg, in my opinion, with the problems of this movie. I think the problem, Eli Roth said it in an interview that he was trying to make a movie for everybody, not just the diehard video game fans, the fans of the game and the franchise. No. I, uh, I think that's where he made his mistake. Like we've seen with some video game adoptions, if like you stick, if you, you know, if you stick more to the source material, then you're going to get a better product. Unfortunately, he tried to do a mass appeal, trying to make everybody happy and getting the... I mean, he made nobody happy in the process. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel like he made a rated R movie. Mm -hmm. and they had to dub it. They had to dumb it down to get PG-13. Because some of those things... Like the game, I've seen video footage of the game. It's a violent game, right? I mean, it's a first-person first shooter game. So... Right. He, you pick up guns and you start shooting people like that's what the game is right it's hard to do a, a movie like that like yes doom is one of those movies that it's not great but it was okay and i think it did it better than borderlands did i think borderlands was like, that's that's and it's hard to say it had a promising trailer too I yes yeah, no, it looked funny from the trailer, but like I feel like it's it's like what it should have been doing is like world build a little bit, like like in a Star Wars kind of way. They were doing that a little bit in the beginning, but then after that, everything was just a random location, fight, shoot, move on to the next location, and get them a. They went there. to Tatooine too. Yeah, yeah, there was a desert area, uh, the Mad Max uh, looking and, place. And what, is it up? what is up with all these movies and doing a Mad Max wannabe or style, Dune, or like a Dune, Dune like, desert? Why? Why? It's I so I, bland. I think I said it was Mad Max mixed with Star Wars, mixed with Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Yeah, except it took all the worst parts of each sucked. movie. <laughs> it took the worst parts of each movie and combined it together and created this crap. And I, honestly, like, I, I don't even want to talk about it anymore because <laughs> well, that's the end of the review, it, folks. It, no, because it, it ruined the, the 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 pace that 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 movies based off of video games were going to be good. Like, we got two Sonic movies, awesome. Yeah, Mario, awesome. Twisted Metal TV show, which I awesome. thought had a similar tone to Twisted Metal. This movie, but yeah, like, except Twisted it Metal did it so much better, right? Yeah. So again, it took the bad parts of Twisted Metal and and created this. Like it, we were we were going up, and then Borderlands comes, and then yeah, went down. Like, I think the, the the biggest problem with this movie by far was the cast. The, this movie was I like, completely. I, I enjoyed the no. I enjoyed the cast. No, but if you if you look up, cast. no, everything that they, they changed character like. The, Kate Blanchett is way too old for the role she's playing. I'm sorry. If you know like the character in the game, she she is not that old. Same thing with Jamie Lee Curtis. The the, the character is literally like in her 30s. If you well, look that, at her, that's okay. That's one thing that makes like, sense. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's character was the mother figure to Kate Blanchett's character. And in real life, there's a 10 year difference between it. Jamie, like I mentioned earlier, Jamie Lee is 65. Kate Blanchett's 55. But <laughs> I kind of enjoyed Kate Blanchard as Lilith, you know? She, I guess she could say she did her best, but it just, it wasn't the right part. I don't think so. It I just, think she it, phoned it in. Well, well, that's the thing, too. I feel like everybody phoned it in, because well, nobody, okay. none, none of these people knew anything about Borderlands, like, act, the way they acted in this movie, and it was very clear. But you, you know what pissed me off the most? <laughs> this guy right here. This yeah. guy right here. Played himself. Pissed me off the most. No, because normally in every single movie, he plays himself. He played a completely different character. He wasn't funny, in my opinion. He was very dry. He was very sarcastic. Like, I understand that's maybe the character, but you should not hire this man right here. What's yeah. funny, hard to play him. What's funny is it was him and his team that approached the studio and Eli Roth about wanting to play Roland in this movie. He wanted to be... He was probably the only fan of the, ga the game. No, the Jack... Yes. He did a horrible job. No, Jack <laughs> Block's the only real fan of the game. Well, that I can believe. So, he played so Eli Roth got... Had it worked with what Kate. Is he? He's not even in this. Well, They're probably sitting on him. <laughs> probably, yeah. Eli Rod worked with Kate Blanchett on a prior project, the name escapes me. She was, according to him, he she was the key to get everybody else in the movie. Really? Yeah. It it just it sounds like so much effort was put into even making this movie a reality, and it this took, is what we got. It was as in a result. Like, right. It was in nine years of development. I heard so twelve how, technically. And, I heard nine. And the actor that played the psycho that was on their side was the same actor that played the, uh, the oh, Drago, the Drago Drake son in yeah. Creed suit, right? Yeah. Creed two, which we barely saw his face. Well, you know what? I was gonna say I, I give them credit for keeping their mask on. Until the end when it cracked. Yeah, but you don't see his face ever in the movie, which is... Right, which is good. Yeah. Like, do that. Marvel, take notes. Well, it's, it's the one thing. It's the one thing. I did... <laughs> and it's barely a point. Let's just yeah. say that. When Lillard got her full powers, I like the video game looking graphics. I know you thought it was garbage yeah, the looking. PS, the PS3 looking graphics from 20 years ago. I thought she became <laughs> Phoenix. I thought I was watching an X-Men movie. She became Phoenix, and all of a sudden she rises. Phoenix, yeah. Yeah, like... Look, I, I view it as a comedy. It's going to be a guilty pleasure that you're going to watch late at night on HBO. Okay. and then that, this... Fine. I, I'm, a, I'm with you. You yeah. liked it. You enjoyed it. But you really thought that this was a comedy? Like It was supposed to be an action comedy. But even as an action comedy, you did you laugh as much as you thought you would? Or even... Probably not. I just... I don't know. I don't know. Look... I don't think it was a hot pile of garbage... But it was a pile of garbage. No, it was a hot pile of garbage. It was hot garbage. I, I, that's, I, <laughs> Rebel this, Moon was a hot okay. pile of garbage. So was this. I saw, I, I saw this, the was, same exact thing here. Was this worse than Madam Web or or Trapped? I don't know. You, I know you didn't see Trapped, but or Rebel Moon. This movie was much better storyline wise, barely than Madam Web. Okay, Madam Web was complete like bad mayonnaise. This movie had a little bit of seasoning in it. Like, that's all I could say. Sure. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> At least the story was cohesive. You understood the story. With Madam Web, there are so many plot holes in the first three seconds of the film. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't I couldn't follow along the story. Because, like, no? they, they, I felt like they were just jumping from, like, one thing uh, to the next. And, no, they, so. and you know what it was? Like, they, they would explain, like, who the characters are. But I, I just didn't care about the characters that much. 
where it's like to the point where I was just like, I don't know, whatever, go to the next scene. <laughs> and I guess you know? and, and poor Ariana uh Green Bay, like she has her first flop. She was on this great rise, but not everything's yeah. gonna hit. I mean, between she'll Infinity, bounce back. Yeah, between Infinity War, Barbie, Ahsoka, but she'll to you know get her to come back as a young Ahsoka. She'll be fine. Listen, <laughs> everyone has a bad day at the office, and everyone here had a really bad day at the office when filming this movie. Yeah. And I think we should close with that because yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, I, I'm getting like, we got the AC pumping and I'm still sweating because <laughs> this movie just like makes you so mad. Yeah. Not mad, but frustrated. Yes. Frustrated because it I just felt like a waste of time. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. They, you know, all the, like I said, all, all the, the time that they spent to make this a reality, this is what we get. Like, yeah. Oh, read the, like, how much you, you want to read the numbers? Oh like, yeah. yeah. I just remember this, that. This is your speaking of lost cause. So, um, the numbers. I, I believe this movie was a uh, hundred and ten to one hundred and twenty million dollar budget, which I can believe. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, it wasn't. It wasn't the sure. most, uh, you know, crazy with the effects. But still, it was over a hundred million. Yeah. Now. <laughs> oh no! This movie in now. Keep in mind, we're recording three days after this movie came out. This movie worldwide has made. A staggering amount of nine point three million dollars. Oof. 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 Put it this way. <laughs> Put it this Jeez. way. Trap. Trap made eight thousand dollars more this weekend than, than Borderlands. Well, to put it into perspective, too, how much did this movie make domestically versus how much was made okay. <laughs> overseas? Oh, okay. All right, hold on, hold on. I think that's an even sadder number. Yeah, it is. So. So nine million was Domestic, total worldwide. It was nine point three worldwide. Domestically, it made eight point six million. <laughs> which means, which means, <laughs> internationally, internationally, it made only seven hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. That's abysmal. In other words, by the time this movie makes it back to the uh, to uh, streaming or or VOD or anything to that extent. I can almost guarantee you it's not going to make more than $25 million in total. Mm -hmm. in no, total. It, it, they're, they're going to have a big problem with this movie. They, yeah. it, it's going to be a complete bomb. So that's, yeah, that's the way the, the borderland crumbles. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And on that note, let us know what you guys think. Tell us, did you see it? Did you not see it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you agree with us? Or... You think that this was a hot pile of garbage? Yes. Let us know in the comment section down below.